Today's Storehouse Story Time is brought to you by Meet the Mitchells, a podcast of casual conversations on faith, family, and fulfillment. Friends, welcome to Storehouse Story Time. I'm Ronnie, and you guys, let's get settled in our seats, ready for today's story. My body sends a signal. That's the name of today's story. It's written by Natalia McGuire and illustrated by Anastasia Zababashkina. Friends, let's get into it. My body sends me so many signals to tell me how I feel. Sometimes I sweat, my stomach rumbles, it's hard to breathe, and my heart races like crazy. And sometimes I want to jump for joy, and then I want to yell and cry. (laughs) But why, why, why? (laughs) One day my mom said, I have a nice surprise for you. But you have to wait until after lunch. Well, what could it be? I just could not wait. I walked around the house unable to concentrate on anything. I started playing with my blocks, but my brain just wouldn't stop thinking about the surprise long enough to build a tall castle. Then I got my train set out, but for some reason the choo-choo just wasn't much fun. Next, I tried to use my toy tools to build the best race car ever. But my brain kept wondering about the surprise mom had for me. My skin tingled. I was so excited. I felt ants in my pants. My mom hugged me. Not long to wait, she said. And then I heard the doorbell and mom looked at me smiling. Do you want to open the door? She asked. I rushed to the door and opened it wide. (laughs) There, with their arms wide open to hug me, stood Grandma and Grandpa. Surprise! (laughs) Grandma said with a big smile, who is this big man? My eyes shined. A wide smile lit up my face. I jumped for joy. I was so happy. My grandpa asked me to show him what I had learned in school. I showed him the letters that I had learned to write, the books that I had read with mom, and the pictures that I had drawn. And then I handed him the dragon I had created from the soft clay the other day. It was a present for you, Grandpa, I told him. Do you like it? Like it? I love it, (laughs) Grandpa exclaimed. It's a piece of art. I stood up straight, I held my head up, and I, my eyes shined. I felt very proud of myself. It's almost like he's in Superman stance. He was so proud of himself. The next day, the weather was perfect for a day out. And we went to the zoo. The sun was shining bright, and all of the animals were enjoying the perfect day. Well, first, we went to the tigers. We were standing behind a large glass wall so we could see them clearly. A big tiger was lying just in front of us. He seemed to be asleep or maybe just relaxing in the sun. Two boys who were standing beside me decided to annoy the tiger. They were screaming and knocking on the glass and making faces until suddenly the tiger jumped up right up in front of us and growled menacingly. Uh Uh-oh, friends. How would that make you feel? My heart jumped. (laughs) Something like that, huh? My knees shook. My legs got weak. I felt pain in my stomach. I wanted to hide. I was so scared. My grandma quickly pulled me back and hugged me. It is okay to be scared, said Grandma. I was frightened too. I breathed out. My heart felt normal again. My knees weren't so wobbly anymore. I calmed down. I felt safe. My misfortunes did not end there. As we walked out of the tiger's enclosure, I smelled an awful smell. Where was it coming from, I wondered. And then I looked down and saw that I had stepped in a squishy, stinky poo. I exclaimed. 
<laughs> my nose wrinkled up, my upper lip curled, my head shook from side to side, my mouth got all watery, and I thought I might throw up. I was so disgusted. Grandpa stroked my back. Oh dear, he said. Let's go clean it. This was the last straw. I, had, I no longer wanted to go see other animals. I wanted to go home. What an awful day. I tried to stop it, but my bottom lip just couldn't help but stick way out there. My whole body felt down and my eyes felt watery. I was going to cry. I felt very sad. When we got home, things only got worse. It appears my sister decided to play with the robot that my granny and granddad had brought me. She dropped it from the table and cracked and it stopped working. I just couldn't bear it anymore. My hands clenched. Uh-oh, friends. My shoulders tensed up. I pushed my sister and kicked that stupid table. And I started to yell. I felt angry oh my darling mom said and hugged me i understand that you are upset you have the right to be angry i think you should take some time to cool down and then we will discuss how we can fix your robot and then mom took me to my room later mom called me to come down for dinner i did not really want to eat my cheeks turned red. I felt very hot. My hands were trembling. I could not raise my head and look into my granny's eyes. I was so ashamed of my behavior. I am very sorry, I said. Grandma hugged me, looked into my eyes and said, you had the right to be angry. And you needed to let off some steam, but it is not okay to yell and kick. You can control your anger instead of letting it control you. I can teach you some ways to do it. First, take 10 very deep breaths. Slowly breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth while counting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And instead of throwing or kicking things because of anger, just squeeze this anger in your hands and hold it there tightly and then let it go. Or friends, if you have a squishy tool, you can use that to help squeeze in some of that anger. Yeah? And now instead of yelling or saying bad words, just say, I am very angry and instead of hitting someone just walk away don't let your anger be the boss of you do you promise to try this next time yes i nodded i know you will said grandma and kissed me you are such a smart boy and i love you the next morning, I slept late. Mom did not wake me up. She probably wanted me to recover from all the stress I'd had the day before. On the way to the living room, I heard a familiar noise. I immediately understood what it was. I rushed into the room. Yes, I was right. My granddad was sitting on the floor and the robot was walking in front of him. I could not believe my eyes. My eyebrows raised, my eyes opened wide, my mouth opened. I was totally surprised. Granddad laughed. See, I fixed it. Uh, it was just a small thing, nothing serious. So here, it's working perfectly again. I rushed to grandpa and hugged him tightly. And then I did a funny dance around the robot. I was filled with joy. And here you see him expressing the joy that he's feeling. I love it. Each day my body sends me a lot of signals and all of these signals, you guys, have meaning. My tummy is going rumble, rumble to tell me that I'm hungry. <laughs> my mouth gets dry to tell me I'm thirsty and it's time to drink some water. 
I yawn when I am tired or bored. I get goosebumps when I get cold and I sweat when I'm hot. I get butterflies in my stomach when I'm nervous. Ooh, friends, totally me. That is me. <laughs> I get so many of these feelings and they are all perfectly fine. The end, you guys. What an awesome storehouse story time, you guys. I love it. So my body sends me a signal. All of these different emotions, I wanna call out just a few to see if they're familiar to you. On this page, we have, I feel happy, I am glad, I am cheerful, delighted, I'm ter I feel terrific, or I feel disgusted, it's so gross. Or I'm excited and I'm thrilled, I'm on fire. Or I feel safe and I am comfortable and I'm peaceful. I am surprised and amazed I am astonished, I am shocked. Are these familiar to you guys? Feelings that we've felt sometimes throughout the day. It could be in the morning, it could be in the afternoon or whenever it may be. These feelings you're feeling are perfectly fine, you guys. I feel scared, afraid, frightened, or terrified. I'm angry, I'm furious, I'm mad, I'm irritated, I'm ashamed, I'm disappointed with myself. These are very real emotions, you guys, very real feelings, and it's okay when we feel them. It's how we respond to them that's most important. How we react because of them is most important, you guys. And we can help you, I would like to help you in managing and controlling those emotions when they come up. Don't let them be the boss of you. All right, friends, thank you for an awesome storehouse story time. Until next week, have a fantastic week.